live on Lunch Break Live. Hi, I'm Joanna from Johnny Concert, and today we are going to be making some jackfruit sliders with coconut bacon and chipotle aioli dressing. Woo! Let's get cooking! Let's get cooking, Jane. So right now, um, I've already opened up this can of jackfruit. I got this one from Trader Joe's. It's just ready to go. You just have to drain the water out. So I just take the jackfruit out. Here we go, and then I'm going to take this knife over here, and what I like to do when I'm cooking jackfruit is I kind of like to like rough it up a little bit because when you rough it up, it kind of gives it more of like a texture. Um, a lot of people say that jackfruit is very similar to pulled pork. So a lot of people who are transitioning to vegan right now, it might be kind of difficult for them to give up their meat substitute. So jackfruit's always a really good way to kind of uh, bridge that gap because once you start adding sauces and stuff to it, you can't even tell the difference. And it, what a thick consistency. You know, you think of fruit as something that's sort of a little bit like yeah, you think it's fluffy like, or not yeah. very firm. But this jackfruit is like chewy. It's, it's chewy. Yeah, and you know, when you start to um, cook it and bake it and do stuff with it, it actually sort of changes in consistency a little bit. So right now I'm kind of like roughing it with this knife to give it that, um, you see it's like a stringy look. You could kind of see it's like almost like pulling apart a little bit and once again you can buy this it's not like you have to take your own jackfruit and make it from scratch look at this jackfruit in brine you rinse it off you drain it and then you're ready to start chopping it up what are we making again we're making jackfruit taco um i'm sorry jackfruit sliders with coconut bacon and a chipotle aioli dressing Woo! that sounds fantastic we got some <laughs> taste testers in the house just ready to jump in and who's yeah. taste testing hey. today? I love jackfruit. I love jackfruit tacos. I love jackfruit everything. Jackfruit. Let's just make this jackfruit day. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Paige is in the house ready to taste test. And so after you chop those up, and then what's the next step? So the next step what I do is I'm going to be putting this in a frying pan. I mean, there's different ways of doing it. You can bake it, you can fry it. I just do it in the frying pan just for time today. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I really like jackfruit when it's like a day old, like after it's been kind of sitting in its um, seasoning for a while because then it really absorbs the flavor and it makes it extremely like tasteful. Hey, I want to say one thing. Johnny Martinez says, Jane, I want to cook Beyond Meat Italian sausage and tater tots in my solar power toaster oven for you. Thank you, Johnny Martinez. I am, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, more, I'm speechless. That's beautiful. Okay. Um, and uh, Ali Mars says, "I love you, Jojo." Aww, oh, Ali. Jojo, Jojo's your so, name. So Ali was the one who got me on this coconut bacon uh, bandwagon. One day she shows up with this really expensive bag of coconut bacon, and it was so good. I'm like. I can't afford to buy this every day, nor can I afford to go to Orange County every day to pick up this bag of bacon. So I decided I'm gonna make it myself. So Allie, thank you so much for watching, and this is an ode to you. Yes, an ode to uh, Allie, and of course, we don't need to kill beautiful pigs to have bacon. That's Absolutely. the great thing we're gonna to prove to you. Um, we all bear witness at a, slaughter, a pig slaughterhouse here in downtown LA, and we say goodbye and give water to the pigs as they go to slaughter, and. I assure you, if you went and and went and made eye contact with them as we do, you would never be able to eat pig bacon again. You could have your coconut bacon. We're going to yeah, show you how to make we're it. Show you. And it's zero cholesterol, and it's not cancer causing because processed meat, which includes bacon, is officially cancer causing according to the World Health Organization. So this is healthier for you. It's absolutely healthier, and jackfruit's also a superfood, so it has a lot of really healthy antioxidants, and it's a power food. It gives you a lot of energy. Where are we going now? So we are going over to the stove right okay, now. Okay, now gonna we're going to cut. Uh oh. Uh -huh. All righty. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, which one? You want to do this or do you want a nice big, big, big? Let's do the big one. Okay, we're going to do the big one. We're going to turn it on and there it is. Hi. Welcome to our plant-based kitchen. We're cooking with the wok. The reason is I find things burn less with the wok. Um, it, I, I definitely use my uh, no-stick wok. I know people. some people have issues with no-stick. I applaud that, but all my food would be burnt if I didn't use a no-stick wok. So... The great thing about this is like you can customize the recipe to whatever you like. Um, I'm adding some onions into this wok to mm -hmm. give it a little bit more extra flavor. All right. So I'm just gonna throw those throw in Throw some here. onions in, there yeah. you go. Does she recommend marinating the jackfruit first? This is from Tom. 
Um, yes, I do. I like to marinate it first, but I'm kind of showing you the whole thing of how I get started. Yeah. And usually I like to make jackfruit the day before, and then the next day it's like so much more tasteful and like ready to go. What do you marinate it with as we um, as we toss this in? So you can use any type of barbecue sauce or whatever your dressing is. I just grabbed that mm. one. I actually haven't tried it yet. Mm. But, um, yeah, and you know, so many things that were accidentally vegan. Like, I don't even know if this says vegan, but... I assure you, if oh. it's brought here by one of our chefs, it's vegan. It's vegan. And everybody washed their hands, so trolls, you know, let it go. This is the cleanest kitchen in the world. If you want dirt, go to a slaughterhouse. Or, Kristen or Key restaurant. says, just film everyone and everything. I thought you were an activist. Yeah, we're, we, are sh we are videotaping different people doing different plant-based dishes. That's activism right there. Um, all right. Okay, well, can you help? Yeah, Thank you. Totally what, what do you need? Hey, you know what? There's actually these over here I love. Okay. Hold okay. on one second. We'll get all you. All right, we're going, we're going. One. There we go. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There we go. So we're going to just kind of like mix this up in the pan. So we put a little olive oil. Yep. Like that's par for the course. Yes. So we've got so the jackfruit the mixing, mixing with the it. onions. And the aroma is already spectacular. Oh yeah, you can really smell it. It's really great. Um, Jackfruit doesn't really have the best flavor on its own, so it's kind of one of those like weird things that like you have to add the flavor that you want to it. Otherwise, it's just gonna taste really like bitter and bland. And that's the way most meat is. I mean, if you, nobody would really want to eat just a like a, uh, a raw chicken. Yeah, that's true. Nobody you know, you have to. Eat that, so so. Uh, we're we're offering alternatives when people make arguments. Well, you've got to do this. You've got to do that. Well, you've got to do that with other foods too. Um, so we're just gonna mix that together, and I'm gonna pour some barbecue sauce in here. And oh, you okay. can use anything you want. Um, oh. You can use. Come on around, check this out. You can use Korean. I I like the Korean barbecue sauce the best, but I think it's discontinued right now, so I'm a little. Bit wow. So that is uh, just a plain old Texas barbecue sauce. Check your ingredients. Make sure there's no, there's uh, no meat, meat, dairy yeah. products. But most barbecue sauce, a lot of it, you can find 100% vegan. Yeah, most of them you can, luckily. Um, and there's, you know, Trader Joe's really has a lot of really good vegan um, options. Should I make it a little higher? Um, Maybe we're just a let touch. It just, yeah. There yeah, we go. Kind okay. Of, kind of simmer. And then we're going to kind of just like leave it and just let it marinate and go back and forth and kind of just check up on it. Yeah. And then you're going to make the uh, coconut bacon. Then we're going to make the coconut bacon. And it's easy. Apparently it's two ingredients. Coconut and... And um, uh, Dr. Uh, Bragg's liquid amino. Yeah. That's oh, wow. That's what I use. But if you want to get fancy with it, you can add like liquid smoke. You can add um, a little maple syrup. There's a, yeah. a, plenty of ways of doing it. Wow. Just for the sake of simplicity. <laughs> And time, I like to just make it really quick, and I love the way it turns out with just those two ingredients. So those are what my favorite things to do right now. Uh -huh. Every time I make it for my Omni friends, they just like this is really good. Wow, everybody's so, excited about learning about the coconut bacon. So here, friend. we're gonna throw this one out. We'll start with the fresh one when the time comes. Okay. Now we're gonna go back, right, and we're gonna do the coconut bacon. It's a little too high. Okay, no worries, no worries. Burn, so okay, well I burn everything. So that's my M.O. All right. So, all right. We're back in the kitchen here. Um, I just got this at the National Animal Rights Conference. Speak the truth, even if your voice shakes. I thought that was great. And the woman who was selling it, I said, these are all mom and pop, you know, all American uh, companies that um, do uh, great things. And she said, well, I spoke the truth once for animals. My, vo my voice was shaking. So I... That's what I created, and I thought, wow, how beautiful. Okay, continue on. Coconut so, bacon. Coconut bacon. You just grab um, a bag of coconut flakes. I, I told it real like... steady so we can see. Where did you get this? Uh, I also got this one from Trader Joe's. Okay. You can get them from anywhere, and okay. these are the ones that I like. Sometimes they make them really thin. Yeah. But I like the flaky ones because they actually absorb the flavors. Okay, wow. So flaky, here. there it is. Yeah, they look more like flakes. So when you cook them... Michael says, this up. chef is so neat. Her blouse is beautiful and spotless. Thank you. Well, <laughs> thanks to Shop Blue District. Uh, they are the ones that dressed me. Oh, wow. Okay, Shop Blue District. Tell us about that. What's that? Uh, my friend Cece is a stylist. Uh, she's a vegan, cruelty-free stylist. So she just has this amazing showroom in downtown Los Angeles and all her clothes are really sustainable so I like to go there and she styles me and this is how I look fabulous. You <laughs> do look great and guess what we have a bonus 
at the end of this lunch break live. Hang in because um, Joanna runs and owns a a makeup company, so a sustainable. Husband, yeah, we, yes, we have a makeup brand together. My husband is the one that really like got it going because like for me it was just a passion. For him, he was like, no, people need to know about this. Like, you need to go out there and they need to learn about, like, what's in makeup and how harmful it is and the animal ingredients they use and the testing and, um, you know, what you put on your skin goes into your bloodstream. And it was like a, it was a really big thing. So um, he was the one that really got me into the whole making a brand out of Okay, we're going to do a power face at the end. Our intern, Mayra Geyser, is uh, going to get a power face makeup. A power face is like a very quick makeup job. How do I know that phrase? When I was a news anchor for many years and there was a breaking news story and I raced in, they would give me a power face because if there was a giant fire or a big scary tragedy and they need you to go on air right away, you literally had three me three minutes for makeup. So that's called a power face. Now, what? back to this. Back to this. So right now we're just mixing the coconut flakes with the um, Bragg's liquid aminos. It's just two ingredients. Let's see, let's see. Here you go. Okay, there we go. Natural Bragg's. Soy sauce. I'll okay, natural, in. and it's got a little less sodium than your regular soy sauce, and it's very good. It's an all-purpose se seasoning. Yes, we use it for everything. Yes. In my household, we use it for everything. It's actually one of these things that you must have if you're a vegan. Absolutely. is Bragg's Aminos. It, this and the Bragg's Nutritional Yeast are two of the key must-have yeah. ingredients. It's great. Okay, so... I'm so, going to just grab this pan right now. Yeah. So what I do is after I make my coconut flakes, I just... Okay, add let's see. What are you doing here? Pan. Oh, you just put them right on the pan? Yeah, let me kind of... Just, put, me oh, just put it right on there. Thanks, there we go. I really appreciate it. And All right. Can I just grab that spoon from you? Absolutely. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so we so, just do that. That is. This is just the extra coconut. Um, the thing about this is when it's in the oven, I, yeah. I cook it at. Sorry, is it no problem. Candy? That's fine. And Paige, yeah, take um, that. Yeah. Okay. So the, I I just bake it at around two hundred between two hundred and two fifty. Um, you don't want to put it too high because it'll start to burn. Okay. So you got you kind of want to like spread it out on the pan so it kind of gets a little bit crispy. Mm-hmm. And no oil? No. Wow. I don't like to cook with a lot of oil. Right. Yeah, um, no. In general, but I mean, sometimes you have to because you don't want it to stick to the pan. Right. So I try to cook with... Um, okay, now let's be careful. Don't burn yourself. Hold on, let me get around here. So sorry. Okay, here we go. That's going right in there. And how, how much... Uh, the oven has been preheated to 225. So we'll just check up on it like in 10 minutes and okay. see how it's doing. It doesn't and, take And how's long. this doing? This is doing great. I'm just gonna mix it up. And, and there's nothing else you add? You know, you can add whatever you like. It's like a matter of personal opinion. Yeah, um, well often I add too much. I mean, part of my thing is that I don't know when to stop. I don't know when to stop cooking and I don't know when to stop adding ingredients. And then I, me I mess things more. up that are really good because I add too much, and that happens all the time. You so know, this is yeah, simple. Right. You could always add, um, it's always better to start with a little bit less and add more as you go. Yeah. So this way, if it's not salty enough, you could add more salt, but once it's too salty, like what are you gonna do, you know? Right, <laughs> so. exactly, exactly. So you taste, do a little taste test as you go, as and you go, yeah. the pan is not oiled, Michael. Um, it's literally, no, I mean the pan where the, um, oh, the, coconut, the bacon coconut bacon is, is no, not oiled. I don't oil that because, uh -huh. you know, the oil will change the consistency and it won't have that like crispy, crunchy yeah, like, taste to exactly. it. exactly. So we'll just like leave it. We'll check up on it in a little bit. So the next thing I really love to make is garlic bread. Oh. Um, so I got some of these sliders since we're doing sliders today. Yeah. So what I have right here are the buns. Oh, wow. And how I do this usually is I just add some in a little bowl. I just, this is when I have to add oil. So I mm -hmm. add some oil and I just like kind of let it go in there. Tom wants to know, are the coconut shreds already cooked or dried? They're already dried, but when you add um, the aminos to it, it, it kind of like gets them wet again. So you yeah. want to crisp them up. Yeah. Okay. So that's how we, it's just really two ingredients. You can add it, like I said, if you have like liquid smoke to give it like a smoky flavor. I do have liquid smoke if you want to add it, but um, we don't have to add it. We don't it. have to. What's that? This is garlic powder. Okay, so oil, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. So garlic powder, and then I add like a little bit of oregano. Okay, oregano. Some seasoning. Okay. And some salt. Uh-huh, okay. So those okay. are my four ingredients. Okay, let's say it again. So it's, uh, it's oil. Any oil, I use olive oil, 
Um, this is the garlic, garlic powder. powder. Then mm -hmm. you have the oregano, and then you just, I like the Himalayan pink salt because that's one of the healthier salts. Okay, it's perfect. It's least contaminated, because you know, there's all this pollution in the ocean, so the sea salt is really contaminated. Himalayan pink salt comes from the Himalayas in these caves. So I just mix it together, and then I just like drizzle it on. Hmm, before you. Before I toast them. Toast them. Wow, this yeah. is looking good. And it just really kind of gives it a little extra something. Like my husband, he's a gourmet chef. Like he, he's a man that can really cook. Uh -huh. So I need to, I learned from him really. I didn't know how to cook. Well, maybe we're going to have to track down. You're doing a pretty good job, but we're going to have to track down your husband one, one of these days. I think so. You know, like once you have his cooking, it's like life yeah. changing. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's really good. So um, basically right now I'm just kind of. Like just you know rubbing some on so when we toast them it gives it kind of a really nice flavor yeah. to the buns as well oh yeah and it's just like and i'm gonna make a little bit more just to add mm. wow uh oh if i do this thank you so i'm just gonna add a little bit more here so basically it's like a really simple recipe yeah it doesn't take a lot. It's just like, you know, if you're on the fly, you have like um, people coming over, you want to show them like something that will impress them, but you really don't want to like spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I think this is one of the best recipes to do that. Oh yeah. You know, cause it this just... is fantastic. And you're, you're managing three different things at once. I mean, you've got the <laughs> coconut bacon in the oven. The whole reason I did this was just for the coconut bacon. Cause that itself is just so, so great and so tasty. Mm -hmm. that I'm like, okay, well, I really want to make coconut bacon on Jane Unchained because, you know, that's one thing everyone says when going vegan. It's like, how do you give up bacon? Well, well you want to give up how. bacon, just go to a vigil. And that's you see true. those babies. And you don't want to mm -hmm. eat those babies. So. Six months old, terrified, going to their deaths. And, and because you like bacon, I mean, my God. Yeah. You know, have some compassion, people. It's true. A lot of people really think that's the hardest part is giving up the meat. Yeah. So, I mean, like... Tell me your story. Oh, I wanted to be vegan for so long, but it just, like, wasn't a thing in my household. Like, I would say, Mom, I want to be vegan, and she would, like, bring home salmon. And it was really hard. It wasn't until I actually was living on my own, and I was, like, my own adult, where I could be like, no, this is something I really want to do. Like, it's going to be hard, um, but I'm up for the challenge. So, like, every day, I started with condiments. I started switching up my condiments. So... Like the butters and all that stuff, um, the mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, show this um, what you're going to yeah, be so using. Yeah, this is uh, Ioli's Dusty Garlic. I got this one from Whole Foods. Hold it up and let me see. Okay, so this is egg and dairy free and it's an aioli mayonnaise. Aioli mayonnaise. Yep. Yeah. I actually make my own now. I learned how to make it with four ingredients. Super easy, but it requires a blender and that's no yeah, easy. Yeah, no worry about it. So okay. So this is just ready to go. So we're just going to pop this guy in the oven. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. Oh, there we go. Now, how are the um, how are these doing? These are doing good. Wow. So Look at that. See, Let's see. Just, just like move it around. Hmm. It's starting to get a little bit crispy, but you know, wow. it still needs more okay. time. Because so this is just coconut and Bragg's aminos, yep. sprinkled with Bragg's aminos in the oven. And that's going to take a while. Easy. Meanwhile, we've got our jackfruit tacos with the onions cooking here. We've got the, um, the buns. With the aioli, with the aioli sauce here. Yes. All right. So that's about it. Okay, now while we're waiting for that, do we have time for the power face? Mm -hmm. Or should we do that afterwards? I can help in the... No, wait, wait. Let's find out. I think What's your next should, step? Well, this is going to take a few minutes, so I think for the power face, we should wait till after. Okay. Yeah. All right. So... Uh, now what do we do? Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to actually dump this in here. Okay, and this I'm is this, this is mixed one of the seasonings. Um, so oh. This, so this one is a, Let's see. Like a combination of kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. Wow. I use this as seasoning for when wow. I like put it on top of the slider. So I'm just going to switch bowls for a second. Yeah. This is what I really wanted to make is the... Um, Chipotle aioli dressing. Yeah. Once again, two ingredients. Oh, wow. Okay, great. And you you have so many surprises here. <laughs> when you said you were making jackfruit tacos or sliders, sliders. rather, uh -huh. I had no idea you were going to teach us how to make like four or five different things. You're amazing. Well, this is actually probably one of my, 
go-to things. I put it literally on everything. Okay, so this, and when you say aioli, uh, vegan mayo, what's the aioli, what does it taste like? Like pesto garlicky. or? Garlicky. Garlicky. Yes. Garlicky, garlicky, I love it. Okay. I mean, I put this on pizza. I put okay. it on like literally everything. And then what's the other ingredient? And now this is a sriracha. Uh -huh. um, I put a little like red sriracha sauce. Ooh, wow. That's it? Um, yeah, so you can make it as spicy as you want and you just like kind of like mix it together. Wow, that is good. So I just like mix it. I like mine a little bit more spicier, so I tend to add like a little bit more. Oh, for one sure. of our new contributors, Katie Wilson, is watching. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. She's been covering vigils uh, and uh, other protests, in fact, uh, for Jane Unchained. We met at the Animal Rights Conference, so we've added six new contributors. And today we're going to get them stabilizers and get them set up so they can start going live. Uh, ooh. So here it um, is. That's it. Two ingredients. Look ingredients. at this. Uh, you know what? When people compliment me, I I'm going to read that immediately. Michael Va Vern Gutierrez. Jane's kitchen is spotless, but it's much easier to keep a clean kitchen without horrible animal products. That's so true. You are so right. There, you know, sometimes we have trolls if somebody accidentally touches their hair or pets a dog. I'm like, you do not know dirt till you've been to a slaughterhouse. Um, vegan cooking is the cleanest cooking on the planet. It's so clean. It's All clean, right. It's healthy. Yes. Okay, where okay, are we going I'm now? I'm going to come back over here and okay. up on our uh, jackfruit. So you can see it's starting to get a little bit crispy. It's starting to absorb Ooh, yeah. all that flavor. Look at that. Yeah. You can really smell it now. Wow. Um, and then it's starting to get a little bit toasty on the, you know. Yeah, so, so you want it to be nice and cooked. So it's been cooking about... It's uh, been cooking over about 20 minutes. 20 maybe? minutes, yeah. So you want to really cook it. That's yeah. Because it's really important to know how to cook some of these more exotic vegan foods. Like jackfruit, I think, scares people. It scares me to cook because I'm not the world's greatest chef, even though I've had the world's greatest chefs in my kitchen. I'm honored. Well, thank but, you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, you are doing pretty darn well. Um, but um, sometimes when I try to do it myself because of my tendency to put everything on high and burn and um, just, why are you laughing, Paige? Because <laughs> you say that all the time, but I think we only turned on the fan once and that was at Nicole Dershwitz. Oh, yeah, we yeah. The fan yeah. The oh, I've had, on. I've had Pyrex yeah. exploding behind <laughs> me and everything else. But, but the most important thing is to know how to cook something, right? Yes, okay. It's important. Sometimes it takes time. Like the first time I've made things, I'm like, you know, this is really good, but it could be better or the consistency isn't right. So I like to make things that are really easy and almost foolproof. As long as you keep the um, heat low on the lower side, you will be fine. So we have the coconut bacon in the oven. We're okay, let's check out. This is the jackfruit. That's the jackfruit. Um, that's the jackfruit sort of meat alternative. Here's the coconut bacon. Here's the coconut bacon. So let's check that out. That's yep. literally... Um, slices of coconut, which you can get at Trader Joe's in an ice pack, plus uh, Bragg's aminos. And then below that, we have the buns with aioli. Well, those are just garlic oh, buns garlic, right now. Garlic buns right now. We're so, add wow. Aioli after. This is amazing. What a treat. Yeah, and that's here, the that's again. the package. You can just go to Trader Joe's, get organic, unsweetened coconut chips, and then you add Bragg's aminos. You sprinkle it with Bragg's aminos, put it in the oven that's heated to 250, and that's it. Boom. That's it. And here is the uh, jackfruit, which you also, you got this at Trader Joe's? Yeah, you know. It says Trader Joe's, so yes. Um, this is how easy it is. I've actually seen a jackfruit in the store, and it looked like, okay, I can't handle that, but a can, I can handle. And here's TJ's Organic Kansas City Style Barbecue Sauce. So it's all happening. It's happening. So um, I already prepared some of the dressings. You can do whatever you like. Um, if you like tomatoes, if you like avocados. Um, I have extra onions here, but I'm probably not going to add them just because we have them in the jackfruit already mm -hmm. marinating. Yeah. So basically, once this is um, the buns are toasted, we're going to take those out and we're going to start assembling everything. Woo! All right. And then the bonus today, I'm giving you a hint. These are the products that Joanna and her husband um, make and sell. And uh, this is an incredible cruelty-free, sustainable brand, and it's called Johnny Concert. Con concert, like you go to a concert, Johnny Concert. And so, um, very reasonably priced. 
Um, I went on the website. I was shocked at how reasonably priced because makeup can be super expensive. Look at these vibrant colors. We're going to do a power face on our Jane Unchained intern. Mayra Geyser has volunteered for that at the end of our Lunch Break Live today. So I'm so excited. Yay, All right, and uh, so that's your company. Your husband and yourself yeah. do that company. We do that company. Johnny Concert, and you can just go to, wh what's the website? Johnny Concert Makeup. Um, dot com? Dot com, and our Instagram is just Johnny Concert, so feel free to reach out to us there. Um, so I think we're going to start ready to assemble. Okay, so here's the jackfruit mix. Uh, this is the meat alternative, the meat alternative. in our plant-based kitchen. Let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's get cooking. So, and... Uh, Wow. All right. I'm going to sneak back this way. Very exciting. And we also have Instagram today. We got Kenzaya doing our Instagram feed. And that's something new we're trying. Um, so we've got a whole exciting bunch. Now, I want to make sure, should we give uh, Joanna two mitts? I don't want two her to. Two mitts, yes. Yes. I don't, be careful mitts, with your hand. Two mitt experience. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. All right. So here are the buns. Look how pretty they are. They are they're just lightly toasted. Oh, Ali Mars says, I love my Johnny Concert products. I use the Yay. eyeshadow every day. The oh, colors are amazingly thank bright. Yes, thank Woo! You. Thank you, wow. They are gorgeous colors. I got to tell you, those colors rock. You know, when very, we... Very, very glam. When we started Johnny Concert, it was... It was, it was difficult because at the time, like, vegan, cruelty-free, organic wasn't really a thing like it is today. How so, long ago did you start it? The, the first process started around um, 10 years ago. Wow. And it was, a, it was a journey because it was like a lot of learning and a lot of things. And as I'm going through this journey, I'm learning that packaging isn't sustainable. So it was this whole journey of like, how can we make this like really great product line, but also be like friendly to our bodies, friendly to the planet, friendly to the animals. So it was a long journey, but thankfully I've, I met the right people along the way and that has really helped to make this vision into reality. Oh my God, those those colors are amazing. And now yeah. sustainable is in. I don't like to use products that have plastic. So no. uh, what I'd like to uh, do is, is find out more about your packaging because packaging is super important to me. Oh my gosh, this is the... Coconut bacon. Let's see, can you bring it up here so we can, can see it? This is the coconut bacon. And is that done? Um, it can go a little bit more. Okay, we'll stick it back in for a couple of minutes. I like to just check up on it and see how it's yes, doing. I yes. tend to like it a little bit on the burnt side. Well, good, because that you're talking my language now. I love um, everything burnt. Yeah, I, you know, I just really like it a little bit, a little crunchier. So we're going to just throw this back in here. And I'm just going to put it right here. All right. All right. So we can turn this off now. We are live. Yes. With Joanna of Johnny Concert Makeup, she and her husband have this incredible makeup brand, and she is cooking in the kitchen today. Yes. So now what we're doing is taking the jackfruit and um, onion mixture that has been sautéed with barbecue sauce. Look at this. We're making jackfruit sliders. Yes, we are. Save some so that we can do a photo with like two of them. So I wouldn't make all of them right this second because we want to we want to have a photo with a couple of them for okay. our website. So what we so will be putting up you. we will be putting up these with the recipe on janeunchained.com. You will see it in the next day or two. And uh, that way you can make this. Just go to janeunchained.com. We have hundreds and hundreds of recipes. And it's super easy to make because... Um, Get one one more plate. We want to have one for the taste test. So everybody individual. All right, okay. there we go. So, I'm just so let's just do that. Here. And mm -hmm. this looks great. So let's put one over here and then just dress one so that everybody okay. can come that in. We're going to try it. Let's dress one. There Bring we go. All right. So what now. I'm going to be adding is I'm going to be adding some tomato. Um, tomato. I love that. And then I'm going to be adding some avocados. Okay, that's it. These Perfect. Fresh wow. Avocados. Wow. This looks good. So and then and I like to drizzle. Drizzle. Chipotle aioli on it. Wow. Look and, at know, that. With the chipotle aioli, sometimes I add a little bit of, just a tiny bit of water just to make it a little bit more um, pliable. It just kind of like mm -hmm. moves around a little bit better. But, you know, I'm just going to add this. Okay, that looks great. And then the final step, I'm just going to rinse my hands. Okay. Is the coconut bacon. 
Oh, okay. So the final step is the coconut bacon. That's the final step. And so when it comes out of the oven, it might be still a little bit on the wet side, but as it cools off, it'll start to crunch up a little bit. Okay. So we're just gonna move it around. It's gonna cool off, and when it cools off, it's gonna be almost perfect. Wow, is that cooked enough? Do you think that one's cooked um, enough? You know what, this is cooked pretty well. I yeah. like still like a little bit more burnt, but, and you know, if you want it saltier, you can add more of that, um, that brag seasoning, if you like it more salty. I like it salty, but I know I'm cooking for somebody else, so I wanna yeah. make sure that. <laughs> yeah, we can always add it. salt, but you can't take salt out of the mixture. Exactly, so we're gonna let this cool a little bit because it's really hot. Yeah. And then um, if you want to even just try the coconut bacon on its own, be my guest. Okay, well we do. Uh, I, I think we should put some on now and just keep moving forward. Let's yes, here we go. So here we go. I'm just gonna there add we go. Flakes of bacon on top. Ooh, how pretty. There we go. There we go. Coconut bacon, people. No need to kill a pig. No need. All this stuff is pig free. Okay, and pig then, free. There we go. There we go. Look how gorgeous that and is. There's the slider. There is the slider. And guess who's busy at work? There we go, Paige. <laughs> it's your get turn. Busy or even tasting this. Okay. Show All right. Okay. This beauty. Take a look, everybody. Woo! Up close and personal. How lucky am I? I, I mean, I, I have one of the best jobs. I get yeah. Taste Wait. Whoa. Just look. Look. Oh, that's yeah. Yummy. Oh, yummy. Yummy. Gosh. Yummy. Mmm, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Your aioli is really yummy. Thank you. And the jackfruit, I'm a, I'm a huge jackfruit fan, so there you go. That's really yummy. Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. I, I met Joanna at the fake event, yes. which um, was a sustainable uh, day of yes. product and fashion. Yeah. And then I got myself the some eyeshadow, which I'm not wearing today. And then but I did her makeup. I, she did my makeup, and then I went somewhere that night. You and went everybody's to the like, Cuban, you look so Santa Monica. I did. I went to a cube of truth. Yes. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, it was amazing. And people were like, wow, your makeup looks so good. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, so, here's what I'd like to do. Yes. I'd like to, um, yes, why don't we move your dish out, and yes. now we're going to do one more, and that is going to be for me. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so address so. one of them more up. I'm going to taste this, then we're going to do the makeup. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to okay. just grab this one. Yeah, like put it right there. Yeah. So do you like tomatoes on yours? Everything. Okay. Just go for we'll it. The whole, the whole thing. Woo! So I'm going to add a tomato. I like to add kind of like a thinner one. Yeah, there we go. Tomato. Add tomato. Okay. Then I'm going to add. So we've got the jackfruit. The jackfruit. Um, on the bottom. And all of this. Okay, there's the coconut. Look at this incredible coconut bacon. And you can see it's starting to thicken up. Yeah, it thickens up. And it cools pretty fast. Here's the vegan aioli. Here's the vegan aioli. The chipotle aioli has a little bit of a kick to it. And so pretty. The colors are gorgeous. Isn't it? I mean, that's one of the things I was like, you know, it's really pretty. And it looks like Tom says, don't forget Kenzaya. He's hungry too. Yeah, Kenzaya, <laughs> he's manning our Instagram camera, but he's going to... He's going to definitely have lunch here. Uh, yeah, look at that. How pretty. I mean, look. Go. Look how nice that is. And then this one is for you. Jane is made. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Paige, why don't you uh, come, around, come around, and then I'm going to do the taste test. We are here with uh, the amazing Joanna of Johnny Concert. Concert. Woo. All right. Uh-oh. We're, We're good. good. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's Drum. see. Drum roll. My favorite time of day. Look at this. Look how gorgeous. It's totally healthy and compassionate. You don't have to kill a pig to have bacon. <laughs> I don't know where that, where did that come from? I did have no mind? idea. Woo! Delicious. Okay. I can't imagine anything tastier. It's perfect. Really perfect. Thank mm. you. I can taste the barbecue. I can taste um, the aioli. I mean, it's just a medley of incredible flavors. This is fabulous. Thank you, Jane. Mm. That's really sweet of you. Um, mm. I would really like you to try the coconut bacon just on its own. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to carefully... Yeah, so if you're just joining us, we're here with Joanna Gatto, who is a co-owner with her husband of Johnny Concert Makeup. 100% oh. vegan, 100% cruelty-free, and she just made 100% vegan, cruelty-free 
coconut bacon. Wow, this yummo, coconut bacon is yummo, amazing. Yummo, delicious. Mm. Jane is heads up. She loves yum, it. Yum, yum, I'm going to put Thumbs some up. more on here. There we go. So Putting it in the slider. And you mm. know what? I could really see this doesn't even take longer than 20 minutes. That it was really a 20 minute experience. Mm. Phenomenal. Mm. And you could do some of the prep ahead of time, sounds like. Exactly. You could do the prep ahead of time. Like, I, I like to make the jackfruit like the day before because when it's in the um, refrigerator kind of cooling, it's like really absorbing those flavors and marinating. Mm. So it makes it really, really tasty. Um, so if you could do that the day before you have jackfruit for the rest of the week, you could put it on your tacos, you can make the sliders, you could really do whatever you want with it. So it's one of those things that like if you're like me, I, ha I don't really have a lot of time to cook in general. So this is kind of one of those things that's just like saving grace in my household. Um, when my husband, he's also a music producer, he doesn't have a lot of time either. So between juggling our businesses and our lives, we need to eat fast and we need to eat healthy. And this is one of the fastest and easiest healthy things that we can do. So Woo! here we go. It's really easy. It's only a few ingredients here and there. And there we go. So All right. We now we're going to clear the table right here. Okay. Clear it. And we're going to do... Our next event, hang in because we're gonna do a power face in three minutes. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Step on in. Let me just um, wash my hands with some Okay, water. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, and, I'm so excited. All right, this is our intern, Mira Geyser. Hello. She helps us a lot <laughs> adding um, names to our um, subscription base so that they can get our bi weekly subscription at Jane Unchained. I'm doing a whole bunch of uh, important work for our website that needs to be done now. We're going to, let's just face it this way over here. That's it. Okay, look at this gorgeous product line. So this is some of the Johnny Cotter concert products that we have. Um, everything, like I said, we're switching to eco-sustainable. So these palettes, they're like um, magnetic, so you can build your own palette. You know, when you go to a store and you buy oh, some makeup. Where do they sell? Where can you get them? Just um, online? Right now, we're just selling the eyeshadows in these singles, but we're going to be selling palettes soon, and you can customize and make your own And this is colors. not plastic. No, these are paper. This is wonderful. I love the idea of knowing that, and this is... And that's glass. That's glass. So in these guys, these this is all eco-sustainable glitter it's mm -hmm. made with it's biodegradable so it doesn't harm the oceans you can see can you oh see that? beautiful biodegradable and it's not toxic for you exactly it's with organic aloe vera now, what gel. are those two over here uh this guy or these guys okay so this is a new product we're getting ready to launch it's called drips they're um liquid highlighter so i'm going to show on our model over here <laughs> and now you're a model I'm so excited <laughs> So we're going to put some on her arm just to show you what this is. So this is basically going to give you a really gorgeous glow. So you rub it in and you just keep rubbing it in. And this is mm -hmm. like if you're going out like a night on the town, if you're going just like on stage somewhere. And oh, you just yeah. really want to have like a little glow. You want to have that J-Lo glow. <laughs> Too bad yeah. she's not vegan, but... Maybe um, one day she will yeah, be. Yeah, maybe one day she will Billie be. Billie Eilish glow. Billie she Eilish is. glow. There yeah. we go. Billie well, Eilish. Miley Cyrus. Oh, Miley yeah. Cyrus. It's so yeah. it's, it smells really good. So this good. so that's what these guys are. These are just like liquid luminizers and they just give you like a really radiant glow you could put on your face, your body, your hair and those are made with organic grapeseed uh -huh. oil. So that means yeah. it's like going to be um, hydrating for your skin. Also some cannabis oil, apricot oil. Wow. Um, it's just like, it, and you can feel how like soft your skin is by rubbing it in. Yes. Okay. So now nice. we're going to do the actual makeup nice. and we're very excited. Yes. Okay. Yes. Again, these are Johnny Concert uh, makeup products and you can get them at johnnyconcertmakeup.com. Makeup.com. So I'm going to just turn this a little bit. So basically with these eyeshadows, they're oil based. So you can apply them with your fingers, which makes it really easy to do. You don't need a lot of brushes. So we're going to have our model close our eyes. Um, I see that you have a little bit of purple on already. So let's stick with the purples just to keep it consistent. So I'm going to come have you look at me and we're just going to close your eyes and we're going to just let me just say, this is, there's something about someone else doing your makeup that's so special. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you did my makeup, I, I just felt like beauty moment. Mm -hmm. And I don't spend a lot of time putting makeup on. People, you know, just go for the natural. But when you put it on, it just felt so, I just felt super glam and uh, still able to go do activism. So, you oh, know. Yeah, you know, makeup's one of those things, like, you just, like, really transform how you feel. Um, you can be anyone and anything, like when you roll out of bed, you're not looking so good. Like you really, when you put your makeup on, decides like, who am I going to be today? 
So it's um, you can be natural going to work, you can be someone like a celebrity putting your stage makeup on. So you can really transform yourself just through like simple little things. Now I detected a little bit of an accent. Uh, where are you originally from? East Coast, New Jersey. New Jersey, <laughs> Jersey girl, love it. Yeah, so I'm just like putting in a few. She had some purple eyeshadow, so I guess you're a purple person. You like purple? Uh, or one of the only eyeshadows I had. <laughs> oh no. Do you have any tips for those of us that are really have no clue what we're doing? Do you start with like a lighter color and then go darker on the end edges um, or something? Let's see. It depends. So. For this particular look, I like to start lighter in the middle and kind of blend out to a darker color. I didn't bring brushes today, so I'm using my fingers. So it's going to not be perfect, but um, I just, I didn't know I was going to make up today. I just started to show up, to be honest. We're happy that you did, because well, it's kind of fun to see you at work. Yeah, and you know, it's just like one of those things, like, it's just like, like my cooking, it doesn't take a lot of time to get ready. So like already, she already transformed within like a few minutes. So it's just something like that. I'm gonna just rinse my fingers. Ooh! What's your favorite form of activism? Me? Yes. Um, right now, I'm really getting into the Cuba Truth. I had done it before, just mostly holding the screens and stuff. Um, but being able to do outreach, not on social media, in person, and you can really see the change that you're creating in other people is just really awesome. So I'm enjoying that right now. And that's put on by Anonymous for the Voiceless around the world. So if you are wherever you are, whatever country, city, state, nation, uh, planet that you're on, well, wait, we're all on the same planet, but country, you know, <laughs> um, yes. Anyway, you can look it up, Anonymous for the Voiceless. What's next? Um, well, you know, I like to add a little highlighter on the cheeks. Um, I don't like to add too much, or we can add a little blush. So we could even add like a little bit of pink, just a little bit, just to add a little bit of rosy color and just like rub it in. So we're just gonna sit here and just give her a little flush of color. And these, this makeup has great pigmentation. A little bit too much sometimes, so you really gotta blend it good. My skin very tends to absorb makeup really quickly, and this lasted really long last time I wore it. So she actually came to visit us at one of our boots one day, and I got the privilege of doing her makeup mm -hmm. once before, so she has very good skin as well. And where can we find you next? Are you going to be at any uh, events coming up? Uh, we're going to be doing another fake event in August. Fake. F-A-K-E in Los Angeles. Yep. So what does that stand for? The Fashion Animal Kingdom and Environment. And our friend Jonathan and his wife, Susie, put that on, and they just do an amazing job with everything, like... All the brands there, they're all eco-sustainable, vegan. It's like a really one-stop shop place. Just get all these like really great things. So if you're in handbags or clothing or makeup, whatever it is, it's just like a great place to go and just kind of shop guilt-free. Like you don't have to think about any of these things or ask questions. So what I'm gonna add here is a little highlighter on her cheekbones, just to give her a little pop of shimmer. So pretty, so natural. Yeah. And there you go. And it's just like a little bit of blending. It's really easy to do this. Um, it blends really well because of the oils in it. So there you go. Thank you. You're wow, welcome. from creating in the kitchen to creating. <laughs> creating art in the kitchen and art on your faces. Art on the faces. Wow, <laughs> Joanna Gatto with that Johnny. That's incredible. I love the eyeshadow color. The color is very, um, it's just glam. It's a glammy color. How did you come up with these colors? The colors are one of the hardest parts because when you're mixing colors, um, they have a lot of ingredients in it that you have to, like I need to stay away from. Like I don't like things that say like aluminum powder or like certain things, like um, it, it's a lot of makeup and like I'm really conscious of the ingredients. So nothing can have carmine, a lot of reds and pink pigments have carmine, which are crushed beetles. Oh no. And they put that in makeup to give it like the great red pigment. Um, so. What do you use instead? Well, for the eyeshadows we use, we use red iron oxide. Um, these are some liquid lipsticks that are coming out soon, and mm. these are actually made with uh, red red dyes. So they're not mm -hmm. they're they're vegan red dyes, but um, you can't use the same thing sometimes for eyes and lips just because of the, how they disperse the pigment. Wow. Um, so basically, what happened was when we were doing this, like we were very selective of the ingredients. So it's not like someone says like I want a hot pink eyeshadow, like but it has to be like fluorescent. Like sometimes we can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's just because we don't want to use the ingredients that they're using and the toxins that are in makeup. Um, everything you put on your skin go right into your bloodstream. So it's really important to be conscious of what you're, not only what you're eating but what you're wearing. Oh yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. So that's basically how we got started. This is one of our. These are our liquid luminizers here. Mm, Here's wow. the gold one. I think I put the silver one on one. Yeah. Wow. And then this is the gold one. 
this is not as glittery, it's a little bit more subtle, but this is also for your uh, stage stage glow. And you can smell the um, rose oil. It smells really good. It's made with real rose oil, not synthetic fragrance. And it just gives you like a gorgeous glow. So when you're going to the beach, you're going out to like a wedding or out to dinner, or girls night, whatever it is, you just can just have a really nice sheen to you. You can mix it with your body oils or body lotions to like tone down the shimmer a little bit, but there's so much things you can do with it and it just makes you very radiant. So cool. Well, Thank ladies, you. I think we are going to wrap up this fun party that we've had here today, our lunch break live. We went from making sliders and coconut bacon to beautifying Miara <laughs> <laughs> so she, she can go out there and, and make some jackfruit sliders. Incre jackfruit sliders, yes, yeah, some incredible activism that you're going to go forward and do. I know this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joanna, for Thank joining you, us today and with Lunch you. Break Live. And we're going to say goodbye now. Parting words for our well, thank viewers. Thank you, everybody, for watching and for being vegan and for checking this awesome tutorials out, both the makeup and the food. So thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate you watching. Woo! Woo! See you next time. Woo! See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.